Hello, my name is Nigel from Reyes Fleet Management. Today we're going to go over the components of the uh, Coke pump. First component in the system is a 12 volt battery. Next component is a 60 amp breaker. Also, you will need a uh, 6 gauge wire. Next component is a compressor, cooler, your uh, mist filter, and a uh, mist filter solenoid. Okay, the mist filter solenoid comes on for uh, three seconds per every uh, 20 minutes. And when the compressor shuts off, it discharges right away. What it does is discharge the moisture at the bottom of the tank. Next component is your pressure switch. The pressure switch cuts in at 76 PSI and cuts off at 105 PSI. Next component is your uh, filter for your outlet. And there's also a regulator. The regulator should be regulated at uh, 43 PSI. The power box has an uh, on and off switch that has a timer on it and an hour meter. Inside the box is a 75 amp relay. Hello, this is Naja from Reyes Fleet Management. Today we're gonna to do maintenance on a Coke pump. First component you wanna check is make sure you have a 60 amp breaker with your power source, with 12 volts. You check your connections and check your wiring. Make sure all connections are tight and no damage to wiring. Check your tank. Make sure that is secured and tight. Your compressor, make sure that's secured and tight. Also your wiring on here, make sure nothing is rubbing. All secured and tight. Your uh, filter. On changing the filter, make sure there's no pressure in your system. If there is, put all the pressure out. Pull down, twist and turn, and these filters are changed annually. Just check the condition of the filter. There's also another filter behind the uh, tank that should be changed the same way this one is. You have the inlet air filter. This is a change on an annual basis also. Just check condition of the filter. Also check your lines. Make sure they're all secure. And check your cooler for any damage or any debris on the cooler. And in the rear, check your lines also. And check your uh, operation. And check in the operation. Make sure 43 PSI is the maximum amount of pressure coming out of your uh, the outlet. If not, adjust your regulator. And with your uh, pressure switch, make sure it doesn't go past 105 PSI. And it will cut in at 76 PSI. Next component, one-way check valve for your uh, air. All right, next. We're going to check the uh, pressure gauges, make sure they're operating properly, the cut in and cut out pressures. 